Being out in the ocean, scuba diving or deep sea diving around, it can feel like an awesome game of Pokemon Go. All of those beautiful little guys just swimming around makes you wonder what kind of special powers they might have. Well, the most common special power that fish have are pretty often tear your arm off with razor-sharp teeth or poison you to death. From the fish named after a part of a gun to the fish with a sting in the tail, here's the 20 most dangerous fish in the world. <sighs> Number 20. Triggerfish. Triggerfish are a group of roughly 40 brilliantly colored fish in the Ballistidae family. They live in tropical and subtropical waters all over the world, with the Indo-Pacific having the most species diversity. They are often distinguished by lines and dots. The majority of them live in relatively shallow coastal settings, particularly coral reefs, although a few, such as the oceanic triggerfish, live in deeper waters. Several species in this family are popular in the marine aquarium trade, however they are infamous for being irritable. The triggerfish's peculiar structure reflects its diet of slow-moving, bottom-dwelling crustaceans, mollusks, sea urchins, and other echinoderms, or organisms with protective shells and spines. Many will eat tiny fish, and some, particularly those of the genus Melchthys, may eat algae. The red-toothed triggerfish, for example, feeds mostly on plankton. Triggerfish may raise the first two dorsal spines as a defense against predators. The short second spine locks the first spine in place and can only be freed by depressing the second, trigger spine. Thus the family name Triggerfish. Triggerfish males are ferocious in their defense of their territories, which are necessary for reproduction. The domain of a male is used for both spawning and parental care. The majority of male territories are found on a rocky reef or on a sandy seabed. Many females share a single area and the male mates with all of the females that live in or visit his territory. Some triggerfish species, such as the titan triggerfish, are ciguatoxic and and should be avoided. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. Here's a very strange fish. Have you ever seen one like this before? Apparently this fish was caught by a Japanese fisherman not far from the Fukushima nuclear disaster zone. So, you might say this is some kind of Godzilla fish. If you see this fish in the ocean, don't touch it, as it could be quite dangerous. Not only is it possibly radioactive, but it could have special powers which it will no doubt gladly use to kill and eat you. What kind of fish is this? Have you ever seen one like it before? As always, comment down below with the hashtag RareTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 19. Yellow Spotted Scorpion Fish Many of the world's most venomous species belong to the scorpionfish family of primarily marine fish. Scorpionfish contain a sort of sting in the form of spiky spines covered in deadly mucus, as their name indicates. With hundreds of individuals, the family is rather vast. They may be found in both tropical and temperate environments, although they are most common in the Indo-Pacific. Antoine Rousseau, a French scientist, first described the Scorpionidae family in 1826. In the fifth edition of Fishes of the World, the family is classified as part of the Scorpionidae suborder of the Scorpioniforms order. The Scorpionidae family has a compressed body with ridges and spines on the skull. The operculum has one to two spines, two of which are generally divergent, while the preoperculum has three to five spines. Although the suborbital stay is generally tightly linked to the preoperculum, it may not be in certain species. If scales are present, they are usually tenoid. They usually have a single dorsal fin. The dorsal fin has 11 to 17 spines and 8 to 17 soft rays, but the anal fin usually has 1 to 3 spines, usually 3 and 3 to 9 soft rays, usually 5. The pelvic
pelvic fin has a single spine between two to five soft rays, usually five, whereas the big pectoral fin has 11 to 25 soft rays and occasionally has a few of the bottom rays free of the membrane. So wherever you touch this thing, it's going to ruin your day. Some species have venom glands in the spines of their dorsal, anal, and pelvic fins. Number 18. The Box Jellyfish what is it about the jellyfish that makes it so frightening? Specifically, it's the tentacles. And what's so frightening about a box? Well, this is one scary box because you're dealing with a box jellyfish, which is one of the most dangerous creatures in the ocean. The venom of these jellyfish is among the most potent in the world. It works by rapidly incapacitating their normal food, such as fish and shrimp, so that any attempt to flee does not harm the jellyfish's delicate tentacles. However, this means it has plenty of venom to kill even much larger creatures swiftly, if not instantaneously. After being stung by one of these, a human may only have minutes to live, yet the agony is claimed to be so great that sting victims go into shock and drown, or suffer heart attacks before the venom even takes hold. Survivors are few, and those who do survive will be in excruciating pain for weeks, if not months, following the sting. And the place of contact will leave serious scarring on the body. As a result, everyone should be on the lookout for these gigantic blobs from hell. Number 17. The Spotted Weaver The Spotted Weaver, Trichinus arenius, belongs to the Trichinidae family of fish. The majority of weaver fish are tiny, however they can grow to be over 30 centimeters long. They are distributed all throughout Europe, and frequently occur in both the North Sea and the East Atlantic Ocean, thus they may be found in coastal waters all around the United Kingdom, including Cornwall. This spotted weaver is found towards the bottom of the ocean, down to a depth of roughly 100 meters. The spotted weaver may also be found throughout the Mediterranean, from Portugal to Angola. It has just a little commercial significance, being only occasionally fished. It likes burrowing in the bottom amid the rocks and seagrass. They sink when they are not swimming, unlike other fish, and spend most of their time in the sand. They can also spend extended amounts of time outside of the water, thus they may be found all over the beach. If someone tells you about a fish that might sting, your first thought could be a jellyfish or a stingray that loves to swim in shallow water. Weaver fish, on the other hand, are far more difficult to identify and inject their venom in a different method. Number 16. The Portuguese Man o' War the Portuguese Man o' War is a marine hydrozone that may be found in both the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. It possesses a swarm of poisonous tiny nematocysts that inflict a painful sting strong enough to kill a fish, and it has been known to kill people on occasion. The Portuguese Man o' War is actually a siphonophore, despite its apparent resemblance to a jellyfish. It's a colonial creature like other siphonophores, made up of numerous smaller units called zooids. A colony's zooids are genetically similar, yet they perform specialized activities like feeding and breeding, allowing the colony to function as a single individual. Each summer, this species is responsible for up to 10,000 human stings in Australia, mostly on the East Coast, but also off the coasts of South Australia and Western Australia. Humans are frequently in excruciating agony from stings, which leave whip-like red welts on the skin that persist two to three days after the original sting. Although the discomfort should lessen after approximately one to three hours, the stings of a Portuguese man o' war are very nasty. The word man o' war derives from the 18th century sailing vessel, man of war. Number 15. Oceanic White Tip Shark Ocean white tip sharks show no anxiety when they come into contact with divers and are commonly seen circling around them in the water. This shark should be treated with great caution around divers due to its opportunistic eating style, size, and unpredictability. The oceanic white tip shark, unlike the hammerhead, is hostile towards people. It has been observed as a threat to persons stranded at sea, and it is particularly strong during feeding frenzy. The most dangerous of all sharks, according to Jacques Cousteau, 
know, the white-tipped shark is one of the most common sharks in the ocean, and it is not considered endangered. Its fins, on the other hand, are a key element in shark fin soup, and its numbers have been steadily dropping. White-tipped sharks are solitary and prefer deep water. You shouldn't, however, come too close. Brown Milbert Sandbar Shark Brown Shark Lesser White Shark Nagano Shark Oceanic White-tipped Whaler and silver tip shark are all alternative names for this big pelagic requiem shark that lives in tropical and mild temperate oceans. Its long white tipped rounded fins are the most noticeable feature of its stocky body. Though slow moving, it is opportunistic and aggressive, and shipwreck survivors are said to be at risk. Number 14 The Stonefish the stonefish is one of the world's most poisonous fish, and stings can be fatal if not treated promptly. The majority of stonefish stings are caused by treading on the organism, which injects venom into the foot, whereas the fish is less likely to sting when picked up. Stonefish stings can happen on the beach as well as in the sea, as stonefish can live for up to 24 hours out of water. They are difficult to spot because they resemble rocks or coral. In Australia, stonefish antivenom is the second most commonly used. Some indigenous Australians participate in corroborees, which entail reenacting the death of someone who stepped on a fish to avoid poisoning the aboriginal people of northern Australia and the Great Barrier Reef, have deployed methods of preparing the fish for consumption. The quantity of antivenom provided after stonefish envenomation is determined by the number of puncture holes caused by the stonefish spines. Between July 1989 and June 1990, 25 instances of stonefish antivenom usage were reported to Commonwealth Serum Laboratories, with the majority coming from Queensland and four from the Northern Territory. Many sections in Asia, including South Japan, South Fujian, Guangdong, China, and Hong Kong, consider the fish to be delicacies. They are regarded delicacy and beneficial for health in the Hokkien-speaking area. Number 13. Boxfish more scary boxes now, boxfish are actually fairly calm despite the fact that they discharge a lethal poison. It resembles a longhorn crowfish. However, the longhorn crowfish has horns, whilst the boxfish has not. They may be found in the Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, and the Southeastern Atlantic Ocean on stony and coral reefs. Adults are occasionally seen in lagoons. This fish is formed like a box as a juvenile, with huge black markings on a brilliant yellow body. When they reach adulthood, their yellow transforms into a brownish-greenish tint, and their markings fade. The dots might sometimes appear virtually white with a black edge, the spots on a huge boxfish are blue, and the seams between the plates are yellowish. Males and females are slightly different, with males being slightly bigger and having a more purple-brown tint with lighter colored dots. Although it is extremely unusual when a boxfish is agitated, it can emit a lethal poison known as ostracytoxin, which can cause it to kill itself and everyone else in the tank. If it dies, this can also happen. If it's about to die, you'll notice that it's becoming slower and the colors are gradually fading. There will be froth on the top of the water and other fish will be conspicuously in active if there is toxin in the water. It is critical to remove the fish and clean the tank as soon as possible once this occurs. Because the poison may embed itself in pebbles and filters, it can affect your new less dead fish in the future. They feature armor plating in addition to the poison as a defense strategy. Number 12. Lionfish the lionfish is a kind of scorpion fish, and it's a very vicious one. It is a sight to behold with its warning colors of red, white, and black stripes over its body, as well as an array of deadly dangerous spines emanating from it. The lionfish is a fearsome combatant and an excellent predator with a ravenous appetite for anything tiny enough to fit in its teeth. Despite the fact that sharks and huge sea worms have been witnessed attacking this fish version of the Sherman tank, they have no natural predators. Lionfish populations are usually maintained under control in their natural habitat, the reefs, corals, and lagoons of the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. Hurricane Andrew, on the other hand, caused devastation 
on the Florida coast in 1992, destroying an aquarium, among other things. Six lionfish were released into the Caribbean as a result of this, and they have swiftly established themselves as one of the most dangerous invasive species, aggressively feeding on unsuspecting native species, and growing to far larger sizes than previously documented. They've already spread throughout the western Atlantic, wreaking havoc in their wake, and conservationists are attempting to stop the unstoppable lionfish from expanding farther. Number 11. Moray Eel the moray eel is regarded as one of the most hazardous fish in the world. When agitated, it may be very ferocious and will attack humans without hesitation. They snag its food with razor-sharp teeth and thrash it about until it dies, then devour it whole like a snake. They may reach a length of 9 feet and devour giant fish, octopuses, and squid. This necessitates the utilization of a unique mechanism utilizing two sets of jaws, allowing them to swallow such enormous food while maintaining containing their slim bodies. The teeth in the first pair of jaws point back into the eel's body, making it very hard to back out once bitten. Then a second pair of jaws enters the picture and snatches the prey, forcing it down the eel's throat. The eel's feeding approach is described by Rita Meta, a researcher at the University of California in Davis, as an amazing innovation for fish feeding behavior. This is awful news for almost every fish, squid or octopus on the planet. There's even a chance that some sharks will be attacked. I don't believe you should give this vicious eel the chance to test all of its fangs on you. Number 10. Wells Catfish Catfish are ray-finned fish with a wide range of sizes and forms. The world's three biggest species, the Wells catfish from Eurasia and the Paraiba from South America, range in size and habitats from the world's three largest species to a little parasitic species known as the Candiru. Despite its name, not all catfish have huge barbels or whiskers. Suliriformis members are characterized by head and swim bladder traits. Catfish is an important commercial fish. All continents, with the exception exception of Antarctica, have catfish species that live in interior or coastal streams. The Wells catfish is one of the world's biggest freshwater fish species, reaching lengths of up to 300 centimeters in some cases. Potential transfer of parasites and diseases to native fish populations, such as spring varamia of carp and European sheet fish. Humans may be at risk from Wells catfish. There have been instances of this species attacking humans in the water, however it is quite unusual. Number 9. The Piranha The red-bellied piranha is a well-known and feared fish all across the world. Early expeditions claimed to have uncovered a small fish with razor-sharp teeth as well as a shoal capable of stripping a cow down to the bone in minutes. The piranha is a scavenger, and this red-bellied fish also loves biting bits from the tails of much larger fish, which is rather gruesome. The piranha usually swims in a school of about 20 fish, each measuring about 12 inches in length and weighing around 4 pounds. Under the characteristic highbrow, the powerful muscles that move the narrow jaw with the unusual overbite and razor-sharp triangular teeth may be seen. Because of their triangular design, they match perfectly with the top set. Piranhas are able to have extremely powerful bites, as well as their own known capacity to tear flesh as a result of this. In fact, this bite is one of the most powerful of any vertebrate in terms of body size. Human bites are common, and warning signs have been put up in locations where piranhas have been spotted swimming. Although kids are particularly vulnerable, the majority of assaults result in minor to serious injuries, and deaths have occurred, including an 18-year-old male who was swallowed by piranhas in Brazil in 2011. It's unclear if rumors of a red-bellied piranha's capacity to skeletonize a human or a cow's corpse in seconds are true or not. Regardless matter the circumstances, they are a hazardous species of fish. Number 8. Goliath Triggerfish Another predatory monster fish with a terrifying name is the Goliath Triggerfish. That should suffice to persuade you that this is not a fish to be taken lightly. 
They live in the Congo River Basin and are known as Mabenga. They may grow to be 5 feet long and weigh over 110 pounds, with huge teeth up to an inch long that fit into particular grooves in the jaws of this large fish when the mouth is closed. If any Swahili speakers happen to be watching today, they'll be able to confirm that the Mabanga means dangerous fish in Swahili, and you have to admire Swahili speakers for keeping things simple and descriptive. This is a dangerous fish that has been known to attack humans in the past. This isn't a situation where we can say the creature is more afraid of you, or that if you leave it alone, it will leave you alone. This is a particularly enraged fish, according to locals, who believe it is possessed by an evil spirit that motivates it to attack humans. As a result, it is considered one of the top game fish in the world, and a fantastic prize for any angler. Number 7. The Great White Shark the great white shark is a large mackerel shark that may be found in the surface waters of all of the world's seas. It is well known for its size, with the largest females reaching a height of 6.1 meters. Great white sharks, according to a 2014 study, may live up to 70 years or more, making them one of the world's longest living cartilaginous fishes. On rare occasions, the killer whale is the sole known natural predator of the great white shark. <laughs> It is one of the most important predators of marine mammals up to the size of enormous baleen whales, and it is possibly the world's largest extant macro-predatory fish. Fish and seabirds are among the other marine species that this shark has been known to devour. In Peter Benchley's novel Jaws and Steven Spielberg's film adaptation, the great white shark is depicted as a vicious man-eater. Humans are not a favored meal of the great white shark. That's fantastic news. The flavor of humans appears to be disliked or at least weird to the species. Are these sharks implying I don't taste good? Okay, now I'm a little irritated. Due to their need to travel long distances for seasonal migration and their extremely demanding diet, it is logistically impossible to keep great white sharks in captivity. As a result, while attempts have been made in the past, there are no known aquariums in the world believed to house a live specimen. Number 6. Electric Eel The electric eel is one of the most bizarre creatures on the planet and it is essentially a fish with superpowers. It's also a fish, not an eel. It's a type of knife fish that's related to catfish. An electric eel is around 7 to 8 feet long and weighs about 45 pounds on average. However, it is their incredible electrical power that distinguishes them and makes them so lethal. The organs in its body that create electricity take up 80% of the mass there, resulting in roughly 6,000 specialized cells called electrocytes. The electric eel has three pairs of electric organs, which allows it to create both low and high voltage electricity. Low voltage is employed for navigation as well as gaining control of their prey's nervous system and maneuvering it to where they want it. The high voltage shock, on the other hand, may be used for both attack and defense and generates up to 600 volts, which is five times the typical U.S. wall plug and enough to kill a horse. They reside in muddy, shallow water and breathe atmospheric air, which requires them to surface every 10 minutes or so. Number 5. Tiger Shark the tiger shark is the only extant member of the Requiem shark genus Galeocerdo. It's a massive macro predator that may reach lengths of over 5 meters. Many tropical and temperate oceans are home to populations, notably in the central Pacific Islands. It receives its name from the black stripes that run down its body, similar to a tiger's pattern, but fade as the shark ages. Tiger sharks are solitary nocturnal predators. Crustaceans, fish, seals, birds, squid, turtles, sea snakes, dolphins, and even smaller sharks are among its prey, which includes crustaceans, fish, seals, birds, squid, turtles, sea snakes, dolphins, and even smaller sharks. It's also known as a junk eater since it eats a variety of inedible man-made objects that stay undigestible, not in its stomach. Despite their status as apex predators, killer whales occasionally hunt tiger sharks. It is considered a near-threatened species as a result of human finning and fishing. Despite the fact that sharks seldom attack humans, the tiger shark is thought to be responsible for a large number of fatal shark attacks, and it is one of the most dangerous shark species. They inhabit shallow reefs, ports, and canals where they may encounter humans. 
Three to four shark bites occur a year in Hawaii, although they are seldom fatal. One notable survivor is surfing champion Bethany Hamilton, who lost her left arm to a tiger shark when she was 13 years old in 2003. Every day, thousands of people swim, surf, and dive in Hawaiian waters, therefore the bite rate is fairly low. The tiger shark is revered by certain native Hawaiians, who believe that its eyeballs have amazing sight awareness powers. Number 4. Kandiru the Kandiru is a kind of freshwater catfish that dwells in the Amazon basin and is also known as the vampire fish. Bolivians, Brazilians, Colombians, Ecuadorians, and Peruvians will be familiar with it. Although it is possible that they're most familiar with it through their worst nightmares, this is the fish that likes swimming into the male urethra through a stream of pee. Did you think that was an urban legend? That is not the case, and you should never pee in the Amazon River. In 1997, a 23-year-old Brazilian had to have two hours of surgery on his member after one of these fish jumped right up there while he peed in the river. It sounds extremely unappealing. My recommendation is to pee against a tree like all other animals do. It's a whole lot safer with this crazy fish around. Number 3. The Pufferfish the pufferfish is unquestionably one of the world's most odd creatures, not just in the ocean. These clumsy-looking, slow-swimming fish have excellent defensive abilities, as every Minecraft fan knows. When they are threatened, they swiftly absorb water or air, forcing their loose skin to inflate into a ball and the many spikes that typically lie flat on the epidermis to stand erect, making this a far less attractive feast. There are 120 species of pufferfish, all of which come in a variety of shapes and sizes, with many of them boasting spectacular colors. As most people know, bright colors in the animal realm often act as a warning, and pufferfish are no exceptions. If a brave or hungry predator manages to swallow all of those spikes, he or she will be in for a nasty surprise, as this aquatic porcupine is also very poisonous. In actuality, each pufferfish bears a deadly dose of tetrodotoxin, a poison that is 1,200 times more dangerous than cyanide, and may kill up to 30 people if there is no antidote. So it might surprise you to find that this very lethal fish is a popular Japanese delicacy in which trained chefs remove the poisonous parts of the fish, leaving only the safe parts. A bad cut, on the other hand, means instant death for the diner, and Fugu fans seldom make it home from the restaurant. A one-of-a-kind fish yields a one-of-a-kind and perhaps difficult meal. Number 2. Greenland Shark the Greenland shark is another monstrous creature. Although current sharks aren't as large as their ancient forefathers, these sharks, which are found mostly in the seas of the North Atlantic Ocean, may reach lengths of up to 22 feet. A mature adult's typical size is more like 13 feet or 4 meters, and this full size is reached at the age of 150. These sharks are 150 years old when they reach adulthood. That implies that since the American Civil War, parent Greenland sharks have had to deal with moody shark teens. In reality, radiocarbon dating of some sharks' eye lenses has revealed that they are at least 500 years old. That makes this the world's oldest vertebrate species. Consider this. Sharks in our oceans today were born while King Henry VIII was on the throne of England, and the Spanish were still at war with the Aztecs in Mexico. Despite their remote location, Greenland sharks are now a near-threatened species, frequently trapped in trawler nets. Let's hope these sharks get many opportunities to demonstrate their extraordinary lifespan. Number 1. Tilefish Tilefish contain a high concentration of mercury in their bodies, which may be extremely harmful if swallowed by humans. Mercury is a poisonous element that causes further health problems and poisoning in the body. Tilefish are only safe to consume in a few species. 
Tilefish, also known as Blink Willow, is a member of the Malacanthidae family, with 40 distinct species found all over the world. The Great Northern Tilefish, or La Flotilis chameleonticeps, is the biggest tilefish and may be found in the Atlantic Ocean and Gulf of Mexico. They are little marine fishes that live in tropical or temperate seas near coral reefs or sandy areas. Black line tilefish, gray tilefish, rainbow tilefish, blue line tilefish, and blue head tilefish are some of the tilefish species that have been classified based on their appearance. These fish have yellow and gold markings on their bodies, and eyes that are ocean blue. Which of these fish are you most afraid of? Have you ever seen a puffer fish explode in Minecraft? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.